Right, a few weeks ago I um, showed this microscope here and its brilliant uses in the workshop um, for checking HSS tooling or whatever um, when you're grinding um, the tools. You can actually check the um, radiuses, the uh, cutting edge um, really closely and see that you've um, ground it up perfectly for whatever use you're using it for. And since I did that video on this one, um, I've acquired two new um, digital microscopes. So the two new microscopes are made by a company called Andenstar. Um, this is a Chinese based company that makes digital microscopes. And they intend the use of these microscopes for print industry, textile industry, industrial inspection, PCB, etc. So again, they're really good microscopes to have in the workshop um, or whatever use you want them for. So this microscope here is battery operated uh, with USB charging and it's um, a 600 times magnification. The two new ones are 500 magnification. This one's a USB connection, so it goes straight onto um, a computer or whatever with the USB port, and you download an app um, to use that one. And this one's really good. I use this one indoors for um, various different things. Um, it's great for looking at jewelry or whatever. Or if you ha have um, like a computer in the workshop, obviously you can use it um, there. I haven't got an actual uh, computer in here so I can't show this one um, on this video in use but this one here is an HDMI connection it has its own screen but because it has the HDMI port it can connect to any monitor with the HDMI um, socket so the microscope comes with this nice aluminium base and you screw the um, stand into this um, base. It's a very fine thread and you have to be careful that you don't get it cross threaded. And then you have the adjustment on the um, two wheels either side. Um, this particular microscope is actually known uh, for its lens quality which is absolutely excellent and um, I'll show you some um, pictures in a minute on the screen um, the stand here also has two um, powerful LED lights which you can actually direct directly onto the um, um, piece you're looking at and that's got the on off switch on the um, cable and it has um, USB connection on the um, light separate to the USB connection on the um, actual um, monitor here. So the um, microscope comes with the um, normal USB um, plug sockets and I plug these into those um, shaving type sockets so that the uh, whole thing becomes fused and safe. And what I mean by that is that the um, Chinese send um, the actual microscope uh, with this type of um, socket here or adapter here. I never use these because there's no fuse in them. Um, so I actually plug mine into these shaving type sockets which has a fuse on the back. Um, if you buy them for a shaver they normally have a 13 amp fuse in here. I normally lower that to 3 amps. So when the microscope comes, it um, comes with this part here, the actual monitor, and that's fixed to the lens part. And um, that actually just drops into the ring here. There's a couple of uh, protective bits on the end of the um, locking screw, so it doesn't actually mark the um, lens diameter, which is a nice little um, thing to have. And um, like I say, when you screw the pillar in the base, um, you screw it down as far as you can. And like I say, be careful you don't um, cross thread it. It's very easy to do so. Screw it down as far as it goes um, until it stops. 
stops um, normally that's out of position so then you just back it off and use this locking collar down here to screw down and lock it um, firmly so it all stays in line with the stand and one thing I was um, really impressed with, um, the actual microscope didn't come with any printed instructions. Um, it is quite easy just to work it out with the actual buttons on the side here, but I do like having printed instructions. I went on the End and Star uh, website and put in a request, uh, email, asked for some printed instructions in English and within a matter of hours I had those back in a PDF file which I um, printed out and I think that's really excellent um, for any company um, to actually respond that quickly. So on the actual microscope monitor you have the micro USB port here, I think I put a 32 gigabyte one in there. You have three control buttons down this side and four down this side and um, there's pictures on those and on the instruction um, sheet uh, those are clearly marked up um, for whatever use they're for. So it's very easy to actually um, work the microscope out. On the top here you have the USB port and the HDMI port uh, for whatever monitor you're going to connect it to. So the microscope doesn't have a battery, it's powered completely by the input on the USB and it can record in HD and obviously take um, photographs and um, the actual um, HDMI when it's connected to a monitor it has a maximum resolution ratio that can reach 1920 by 1080 so like I said earlier the actual lights are powered on the separate cable USB and it has a handy switch on the actual cable to switch those lights on. And I'll just disconnect the actual HDMI at the moment. And when I switch it on at the wall, it automatically starts up. Or oh, there's a button on the side here to actually turn it on and off. Now one thing that um, people really like this microscope for is the actual um, use for soldering and that's because um, there's a good distance between the end of the lens and the actual base here. Um, you can get the actual lens quite um, far away from there with still good magnification and in doing so you have a very good easy um, working space with plenty of clearance. And that clearance is something a lot of the other digital microscopes don't have. Um, it's a really good feature to have that and like I say it gives plenty of working space. So imagine you're going to use it for um, PCB boards and soldering or whatever. Put that on the um, base there and then you use this focusing ring here to bring it into focus and um, that looks really good on that um, little screen there and it does actually look um, better under ordinary lighting I have um, very bright lighting in this shed here for the actual videos the actual focusing ring is lovely and smooth to operate um, like you would expect on a good quality microscope And again, this um, microscope is excellent for checking tooling in the workshop, the HSS type mainly, um, although you can use it on the carbide inserts to check the wear on the edge of a tip or whatever. Um, some people complain about this reflective um, surface on this actual stand, um, but I'd just like to say that it is only a surface. You can actually change the colour um, by putting various uh, different colour cards or bits of paper on it um, to bring out the definition of whatever you're magnifying. 
Um, so it's nothing really actually to complain about. So that's without the um, paper. You can see that it's not really um, brought out nice and clear. I put this a bit of light blue um, paper under there. And then when you look at that, you can see it brings that out nice and clearly and makes it so much easier to see. And obviously you can experiment with um, different um, types of textures and uh, colours to see what works best for whatever you're using it for. And some people actually um, turn these um, lights off and use their own light source. It's whatever um, suits you. But I found these um, very good, um, particularly for really small things, um, or the end of this, um, say this tool here. Um, you can actually get it directed right on the actual um, tool and clearly see on that tool whether it's um, worn or needs sharpening or what type of um, radius you have on it. So it's an excellent microscope for tooling. And the real beauty of this microscope is clearly shown when you actually plug in a HDMI cable and use it with a larger monitor. And to do so, I first turn the power supply off. It comes with all the um, cables, the HDMI, the USB, and whatever. And when you've connected the HDMI cable, uh, this monitor obviously isn't used. It'll flash when you um, turn it on to welcome you. Um, but the picture is displayed on the monitor you've connected it to. And this is just a small digital colour television, but you can actually plug it to any monitor. Uh, obviously it has to have the HDMI um, socket. And there you can see how um, brilliant this microscope is. An absolutely excellent piece of kit for soldering, checking your tools or whatever you want to use it for. So now on the microscope I've put a um, 6 and an 8 BA of screw, one brass, one steel. Um, if you do use a bit of cloth or whatever it makes it much easier for manoeuvring the items around under the lens and get it into position. And you can use blue tack or whatever to hold things um, in position to stop them rolling around. And on the screen you can see the um, brass um, 6BA1 and that's the steel 8BA screw so really good for actually um, checking the conditions of threads or whatever plus the microscope has um, very good depth of field um, if you're doing something like a PCB board um, and there's uh, different heights of components I've noticed that um, there's good clarity um, on the, all the components um, when it's focused up and like I said, very good depth of field. And obviously to get um, more magnification, you take the lens nearer the object and then refocus. And you can see that one even bigger. 
and this is about the maximum magnification of the smallest 6BA screw. Plus it's great for um, many other things. Um, here's a diamond engagement ring. I think it's 9 karat gold. And rather than holding under a magnifying glass and um, checking the hallmark, you can actually stick it on a piece of blue tack like this under the microscope and then look at it on the big screen and get the um, hallmark and um, match it up to those uh, in your book or whatever. And it makes it much easier for um, checking jewellery. Um, plus it's also excellent for watchmaking and repairing and things like that. And you can see the hallmark um, clearly on that screen. And that's one of my other hobbies is um, metal detecting. I haven't done it for a little while now, but um, when I find rings, coins, or other artifacts, I can actually um, clearly um, just put this up on the um, screen and see exactly uh, the hallmarks or clues uh, to whatever the object is. And there's a silver hammered coin which I found in North Devon um, some years ago. And then you can use it for things like insects and plants. And that's about the maximum magnification on that fly. So not only is it a fantastic piece of equipment for the um, metal workshop, um, you could use it for all different types of things like I've shown. Um, it's great for educational purposes, um, to look at a whole different world. Plus you can also take excellent photos with it and videos, upload them to your computer or whatever, and your favourite sites. Um, so it's really an excellent piece of equipment.